Well, hello there, <clears throat> and good evening. I'm uh, William Brantley uh, from North Jackson, Tennessee on Walker Road, uh, ready to share with you yesterday's and today's uh, climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days uh, momentarily. Another cold day today. <laughs> it did warm up a little bit, if you can call 24 degrees warming up. <laughs> Uh, compared to yesterday, it was uh, a few degrees higher. Uh, we did have another record cold low this morning, and I'll share with that with you momentarily. Uh, looks like uh, we're still going to have to wait till probably Sunday afternoon before we get any uh, rainfall and slightly better temperatures. Or maybe I should say I feel, it's going to feel like a heat wave. <laughs> In a way, Sunday with highs up in the 40s. I, my goodness, I can't wait. Uh, in the meantime, uh, yesterday's low temperature here in North Jackson was 2 degrees. That was a new record coldest low for January 1st. Old, old record was 6 degrees in 1977. Yesterday's high of 21 degrees was uh, a new record coldest high. The old record was 23 in 2001. Uh, had no precipitation uh, here in North Jackson uh, yesterday. Yesterday's coldest wind chill was 9 below zero, minus 9 at 5 and 7 a.m. And um, 2 degrees was the uh, coldest low in West Tennessee yesterday here at North Jackson while the warmest high was 23. <laughs> the warmest high in West Tennessee was 23 degrees at the Memphis, Tennessee airport and at Savannah, Tennessee. Now today's climate summary, I, I did a little early one today because I went to see my uh, uncle uh, who passed away a couple of mornings ago, uh, Mr. Walter Brantley up in Medina. I went to see the visitation and uh, see the Brantley family and it was good seeing the ones that did show up and um, oh, and uh, got back a little sooner than I thought I would but that's okay of course we got the funeral tomorrow in Medina at uh, 2 p.m. and the graveside service uh, following that at the Hollywood uh, Cemetery at uh, around 2 to 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. So I'm going to have a busy day tomorrow visiting uh, my uncle's grave and uh, my family there. All right. Uh, so I did an early observation at 4 p.m. Uh, at 4 p.m. here in North Jackson, it was clear then, and I think it's still mostly clear out there now. Uh, the temperature at that time was 21 degrees. The uh, wind chill was 18 degrees. The wind chill is improving since the uh, winds have died down a lot. Of course, the wind, uh, the, the wind chill advisory was canceled as of 12 noon today, so we're no longer under that. Uh, the dew point was uh, 3 degrees at 4 p.m. The lowest humidity, now make that minus 3 degrees at 4 p.m., dew point that is, minus 3 at 4 p.m. The humidity was at 35%, the wind was out of the north at 5 miles per hour, and the barometric pressure was 30.53 inches of mercury. Hold on just a moment please. I thought it was getting a little dry, so I had to get me a sip of uh, tea. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, let me see, where was I? Uh, today's low temperature, one degree above zero. <laughs> Boy, it's getting close to zero. But it did make it, barely missed it. One degree uh, here in North Jackson. That is a new record coldest low for today, January the 2nd. Uh, the old record was uh, 3 degrees in 2001, so we broke that record. Today's high did get up to 24. <laughs> My goodness, it did get up to 24. I'm going to say that again. At least that is a little bit warmer than yesterday. 
Well below normal, by the way. Normal low is 29 degrees. So he's well below normal. And today, of course, I mentioned today's high was 24. Normal high is 48. So he's way below normal on that. Uh, of course, no precipitation since midnight. Uh, lowest humidity would be 35% for today, and that was at 4 p.m. And the highest would be 76% at uh, 6 a.m. this morning. The lowest barometric pressure was 30.53 inches, and that occurred at 4 p.m., while the highest would be 30.76 inches, and that occurred at 7 a.m. Today's highest uh, wind gust would be uh, 15 miles per hour out of the northeast at 12.06 a.m. And uh, the coldest wind chill today was 6 below zero, minus 6, at 5, 6, and 8 a.m. this morning. Uh, the other records for January the 2nd, hottest high would be 74 degrees. <laughs> in 2006, coldest high would be 20, and that happened in 1979. The warmest low would be 57 degrees in 2005, while the coldest low now would be 1 degree in 2018. And I believe I mentioned in yesterday's uh, new records, and I think I said 2017. I meant to say now 2018. 18 and a couple of those records that we broke uh, yesterday. I uh, noticed that when I listened to the video afterwards, and uh, I think you knew. I think I, I think you know what I meant when I said 2017. I meant 2018, like this morning's, for example. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, once again, I'll repeat it just to be sure. One degree. That is the coldest low for today's date, and now 2018. Previously, it was 2001. All right, the rainfall record for today would be 2.07 inches, and that happened in 1951. And the snowfall record, hey, we had some snow today. January 2nd of 1977, one inch. <laughs> That's the record. All righty. Uh, that's it for the basic uh, excuse me, climate summary. I'm going to show you a few graphs, and that will be it for tonight. Uh, let me see. Uh, I'll show you the radar. and I don't want you to get scared when you see this, because I think it's uh, Voga. And I'm going to have to turn my light off in the center. There's too much of a glare there in the top. Yeah, down there. And take that glare away, make a bit slightly better picture. Alrighty. Though the skies are basically partly cloudy at worst, uh, it appears like it's snowing to our west, especially southwest. Down in southeastern uh, Arkansas and moving into northern Mississippi. I really doubt it's really doing that on the ground. I believe it's snowing aloft. The radar beam is picking it up, but the, the ground and the air is so dry weather that it's evaporating before it reaches, it reaches the surface. Volga, I think it's called. And that's probably what's happening down there. Otherwise, the radar is clear. It has been for a few days and will be for a few more. <laughs> Okay, let me move on to the regional and show about the same thing. Okay, Accu Weathers. It's showing a little bit of snow to the southwest of us, but it uh, looks like it's going around us way on down into Mississippi. Uh, and all the other snow is showing up up in Missouri and Iowa. It's moving southeast. I don't think it's going to affect us. The only precipitation that might be hitting the surface is down here in Texas. It's snowing down around Houston, Texas, and maybe sleeting <laughs> down in that area. Believe it or not, according to this radar, it may be aloft too. 
the rain that may actually be making it to the surface is this rain over here and uh, uh, portions of eastern side uh, and southern end of uh, Florida down there. That may be the only rain that's actually making it to the surface. Alright. <clears throat> and see what the national view looks like now. Ah, uh, confirms everything I just said. Is that a wider view? A little bit of a uh, teasing snow, <laughs> I guess, near us, and a little bit of a bigger band up north. I really don't think this is going to affect us either. If it should, it would be early in the morning, between sunrise and noon, if it should. Give us a few snow flurries as it's passing through. It's such a narrow band there, but I really don't think it would amount to anything, if anything at all. That's the biggest area where it's snowing in the whole country is up in that area right there. It looks like a sleet or mixture of winter precipitation out there in the center part of uh, Washington State and down here around Houston, Texas, maybe. I'm trying to get a better view of that. It won't come in as good as I want it to. Maybe weather underground will show it better, uh, which I'll go to it momentarily. Uh, let me see. Let's go to the satellite picture uh, real quick. Now, satellite picture, it looks just like as if it's cloudy all over the place. <laughs> and the air is still so cold that it, that it appears like it's cloudy all over. But if you look close enough in the areas that, that uh, you see area rivers and lakes and stuff, now there will be black spots in different parts of the area. That's actually clear skies. We got a few clouds going through now, but it's uh, still generally fair for the most part. Now it may go very be cloudy some overnight, after midnight, on to about noon tomorrow, roughly 10 a.m. or so, 10 a.m. to noon tomorrow. But generally by then it should become fair once more. I know, but that's the clouds, and it's showing some precipitation trying to fall down there in uh, northwestern Mississippi. Looks like it's moving eastward, but I still don't think it's going to be anything major from that. Mostly just a few clouds passing by. That southeast version shows that a little bit better. We're on the northern edge of the clouds, actually, here in Jackson. There's that area down up north. It looks like it's shrinking more southeast, like toward middle or even east Tennessee than west Tennessee. If it catches us, we'll catch the southwestern corner of it. If it catches us at all. See that, see that area? These, that's all clear skies. It just don't really look all that clear because of... Uh, of the cold air around the area still all right the national view pretty well sums it up and there you see where the, it's clear and and not even that area down in texas is not all that impressive is it even though the radar was showing pretty good blimps down there, it's not all that impressive down there. Now, according to the satellite, that area right there is the most impressive in the whole country. And that's a narrow stretch of snow up there. We're just going to be left with maybe a few clouds, mostly, here in West Tennessee and the Jackson area. There's out west, that's uh, up in Canada. And what's going on out west as far as the clouds go. Alright, uh, let's move on to the Weather Underground map of surface map. Um, see, they're, they're showing some snow too to our south of us. Southern Arkansas and northwestern Mississippi moving east, but I honestly don't think it's reaching the ground though. 
And there's that uh, narrow strip up north of us in Wisconsin, stretching down to northeastern Kansas, actually. And uh, that's pretty much it, otherwise. And there's no fronts nearby. Let me branch that out to see the whole country real quick. Let's see what I mean. There's no fronts nearby until there's a high right over to West Tennessee. According to this map, and one over Virginia. Stationary at the Cofront way up north along the Canadian border. And then they said that there's a stationary front still through New Mexico, Colorado that swings way down into Mexico and then way on out into the Atlantic Ocean and it stops in Colorado. It don't go all the way to Alaska anymore. I guess it broke up. Oh well. But there's Tennessee. You got a high pressure system sitting right on top of us. A little bit better view of it. Get one more, zoom one more time in there. Get a good view of it there. Looks like it's right over Martin, right near Martin or McKenzie, according to this one. There's a piece of snow south of us, moving east, or it's falling at least through the clouds or from the clouds. Uh, evaporate before it hits the ground. At least I hope I'm not made into a oops <laughs> later on saying that. You know, there's a good view of Tennessee otherwise. Not a whole lot really going on. Not, not, not in the immediate West Tennessee area anyways. Alright, let me go on to the readout uh, detailed forecast, I like calling it because it's got sunrise and moonrise and set times and all that on it. That's why I call it detailed forecast. For the remainder of the night, I'm just going to go ahead and call it fair to very be cloudy. But on my website, I'm calling it fair. I'll go ahead and throw in the word very be cloudy. I'm going to go back and forth some. And that's going to continue till around 10 a.m. to about noon tomorrow. Hold on. And then after that, it's going to become fair. For the rest of uh, Wednesday. Tomorrow morning is low. It should get down to about 16 degrees. Hey, it's going to warm up. <laughs> Compared to this morning's 2, it's going to warm up to 16. High tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it's going to get above freezing. Hopefully. 35 degrees is expected tomorrow for a high. Oh, I hope it makes it above freezing. That's going to actually feel pretty good compared to 22, 21, 23, 24, whatever. Temperatures, west winds about 10 to 20. That's going to help a little bit for a change. Uh, the uh, moon, by the way, will be setting tomorrow morning at uh, 726 a.m. The sun will be rising tomorrow morning at 7.05 a.m. and set tomorrow evening at 4.55 uh, p.m. And the moon will be rising tomorrow evening at 7.04 p.m. and be setting at 8.22 a.m. Thursday morning. Speaking of Thursday, it's going to be mostly clear with a low near 12 and a high of 25. Back to cold again. we got, got another... Uh, Cold front moving through, just going to bring we issue the cold weather for a day or two, then finally give up. I hope. <laughs> uh, with north winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour on Thursday. Uh, Friday looks like mostly clear skies with low near 13 and a high of 33 with north winds at 5 to 15. Uh, Saturday looks like mostly clear skies with low near 14 and a high of 36 with uh, east wind to 5 to 15 miles per hour. And finally, we're going to get in the 40s by Sunday. However, we're going to have to take some more clouds along with it. <laughs> Mostly cloudy with a 70% chance of some light rain by noon. Uh, just mostly cloudy during the morning hours, but then light rain 
is likely during the afternoon and evening, at least a 70% chance of it. With a low near 23, gosh, I hope it don't rain early in the morning uh, with that kind of temperature. 23 for a low, but warming up in the afternoon to 44 for a high. So, uh, bring it on, I guess. Uh, with south winds, hey, that's going to be a big help. South winds for once uh, at 15 to 25 miles per hour. And it looks like next Monday is going to be continued mostly cloudy with a 70% chance of showers until noon and then just mostly cloudy for the rest of Monday. With a low near 40 and a high of 48 with west winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour. I believe I'm going to call it at that tonight. I'm a little tired, uh, but uh, you know why. Lost a knuckle. Uh, Rain Brantley. No, I'm sorry, Walter Brantley. I do have an uncle named Rain Brantley, too, but he's alive and well. <laughs> Thank goodness. I, I, matter of fact, I saw him at the funeral home, and I asked him uh, if he had any heart-related problems or strokes or heart attacks. He said, no. I said, I, I said well, good for you. I said, uh, maybe he'll be around for a few more years. Uh, I may end up going before he does, and he's older than I am. <laughs> and all because I've had five heart, heart attacks myself in the last 10 years and got at least five or six stents in me. So, uh, but thank goodness I'm still kicking and able to talk to you uh, most every night. And I hope that continues for a while yet. But, anyways, that's it for tonight. Thank you for listening and checking in and watching. And, uh, once again, 16 tomorrow morning, high of 35 tomorrow. Going to finally get a little bit above freezing. Very be cloudy till about 10 a.m., then becoming fair. And looks pretty good for a Wednesday. Alrighty, maybe I'll get a chance to talk to you again tomorrow night. And until then, good night, my friends. And may God bless you.